Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at the Intel booth at ISC 13 in Leipzig, Germany, and I'm here with Stephen Chenworth. Steve, now, what do you got here? This looks like a Xeon Phi, is it not? Yes, it is. So at the show, we announced five new SKUs of the Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors. And so what we're showing here is the Intel Xeon Phi coprocessor 5120D. And so this is our dense form factor version of the product. And so what we have in here is we've got two of the Xeon Phi 5120Ds, and they're underneath the plates on either side here. And then in the middle here, we've got a, a dual socket Intel Xeon processor E5 2600 family. And so what's this plate about? We've got these holes. This is all uh, water cooled because of all the density? Or? Exactly. So this is the uh, SGI um, ISEX platform, and this is a water cooled platform. And uh, yes, and, uh, this is a water cooled platform um, with your uh, hot and cold coming out of there. Yeah. And yep, and that's a very unique cooling solution that SGI has provided around this. Okay, so so by, by putting this kind of density, they can get 172 teraflops in a single rack. Yeah, about 170, a little over 172 teraflops wow. in a single in a single rack. Very so, cool. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. That much performance in a single rack. Well, terrific. So, uh, but you did announce some other flavors of Xeon Phi as well, did you not? Exactly. So we announced um, a couple processors in our uh, 3100 family. So the 3120A and um, the 3120P. And so those are the actively cooled and passively cooled. And what the actively cooled does for you is allow you to use it in a workstation that doesn't have its own uh, cooling system like a big rack server might so have. So if you need to move some air across that thing, it takes care of it for you. Okay. And we also announced the 7120P and the 7120X. And those uh, pack a little over 1.2 teraflops a performance in, e in each one of those. So for maximum performance, our 7000 series is, uh, is, the, is the product line packing the most performance out of any of the Xeon Phi. Okay, with all those flavors, that would suggest to me that you're, you're targeting a bunch of different kinds of platforms and, and, and vendors that might package these in kind of interesting ways. Uh, is that, was that the gist of it? Exactly. Yeah. So we wanna, we wanna be able to, for people to use these all the way from workstations, all the way up to the uh, biggest supercomputers in the world, such as the uh, Milky Way 2 supercomputer, just announced as number one uh, oh, right, this right. week. Right, well, And I was going to ask, what, what did they use in that machine? They had a variety of different Phi uh, flavors in there, did yeah. they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, they used um, they used a version of the of the 3000 series family um, in that one, along with um, the new Ivy Bridge, codename Ivy Bridge processor. And so that's our future Intel Xeon processor E5. 2600 V2 family that's coming out. Yeah, yeah. So uh, congratulations, I guess. The number one supercomputer, the fastest yeah. machine on the planet, yeah. based on uh, Xeon and Xeon Phi. Yep, and they uh, got that up and running in about a month from the time we delivered parts to them. They got that up and running uh, and running uh, HPLs in, you know, about a month's time. So that was very yeah, impressive. That's, that's got to be record time for a yeah. machine of scale.